Laura's sewing studio needed an ironing board, and I got lucky and found these frames at the second-hand store. They just need some covers, so let's take care of that. I'm covering the ironing boards with three layers. First, a layer of thick batting to provide a soft and smooth ironing surface. Then, a heat-resistant batting. And finally, a cotton cover. To cut the pieces to size, I placed the ironing board onto the batting and drew a line around it. You want the batting to go around the sides of the boards too, so make sure to add a few centimeters around the edge. Then you can cut it to size. I did the same for the heat resistant batting, adding another centimeter or so to make sure it fully covers the thick batting all around the sides. The final cover will end up the same size as the heat resistant batting, but it needs a tunnel for elastic, so I added 2.5 cm all the way around. To make the tunnel, I marked where I needed to end up, and then folded the edge inwards twice. This also hides the raw edge, protecting it from fraying. Then I sewed all the way around. But make sure to keep a little gap open so you can thread the elastic through. I placed the elastic on a safety pin and fed it into the tunnel. The safety pin makes it easier to bunch the fabric up and pull the elastic through. Keep going until you're back at the beginning. Now I'm ready to put all the layers on the ironing board. First up, the thick batting. Then the heat resistant batting. And finally, the cotton cover. I pulled the elastic tight and knotted the ends together. It turned out the layers of batting were a little bit too big, causing them to stick out on the bottom. So I gave them a quick little trim. And that's one done. I followed the same procedure for the smaller ironing board. I traced the board onto the thick batting, adding a few centimeters around. Then I cut the heat resistant batting a little bit bigger. And finally I cut the cotton cover, adding room for the tunnel. A bit later I found out that I used the wrong piece of batting as a guide, so my cover ended up too small. But thankfully I had enough fabric left to make a new one. I added the elastic and then placed the three layers on the ironing board. Again a bit of a trim and the second one's done too. Now these ironing boards are ready to go, and they'll provide a smooth ironing surface whenever it's needed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!